Hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the F30 amp ESC from T-Motor and this is the version 2 and you can run the 2 to 6S LiPo and it's rocking BL Heli S software with a BB2 chip so that means it could run DSHOT 600 and it is DSHOT 600 ready. So that is perfect. No modifications needed. You could just run DSHOT 600 out of the box. So taking a look at it, I see it has a lot of capacitors which is very good. Um, Capa always the more capacitors the better uh, I say that's just from my testing that's what I figured out and it's, it's just like common sense really so we're gonna actually we're gonna be measuring noise on this guy voltage spikes and voltage drops since this guy's in the mid range mid to high range ESC and in terms of price point I don't know in quality I don't know in performance yet uh, that's how we're gonna test it today so uh, this should be a pretty interesting one this is gonna be one of the first mid range ESCs I'm actually going to test on the channel right now so I'm very excited and I have no idea what's gonna happen so let's just talk a little bit more about the specifications and what it comes with before before we take it on the bench. Um, it does come with a heat, clear heat shrink wrapping and it comes with a paper that says that the quality check has passed 01. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. So I've already measured it. The width is 15 millimeters, as you can see. Well, 15 and a half, you would say. No, it's 15 millimeters. And the height was, I believe, 31 on the longest point. So let's see. Yeah, 30, 31. So that's very good. The pads are solderable from both sides, which is awesome. And there is separation between them just in case. So sometimes, I don't know, I get flux sometimes to go between them. And this will kind of reduce the, um, the reduce that of happening really and then just messing up a motor or messing up the ESC. So the heat, there's a heat sink here. Yeah, I think it's a heat sink, is it? Yeah, it's a heat sink. So that should keep it nice and cool. Um, and that's all I could really say about it. So what we're going to do now is actually we are going to... Put it on the bench and test it. And by the way, this weighs 8 gram, and the website's saying 6.6 .6 grams with the wires included. But I um, keep getting 8 grams, so that's 1.4 grams over what they're saying. But once you cut these up, then I think it'll be fine. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to compare it with the DYS XS 30 amp, which is $11 ESC, which outperformed uh, all the other budget ESCs that I've gotten till this day. And we're going to see how this guy stacks up. Alright guys, so how did this compare? They're just about the same really, but there is some minute differences. Uh, the voltage drop, this performed better than the DYS XS. And the voltage spike, this a little bit worse than the DYS XS, but that's fine. We care about the voltage drop because that's what will actually uh, give you a VTX blackout or drop the OSD if it goes, if it makes the five volt bank go around four volts, then uh, there goes your OSD just tripping all over the place. Um, now in noise they're both about the same nothing is perfect they're both about the same but i noticed something uh this one was noisier at a lower frequency than the dys xs so what does that mean well the dys xs as you could if you saw the noise they're, they're more the lines were closer together so that just that means it's a higher frequency because there's more lines in in one area and this is as simple as possible i'm trying to explain it to you guys in this one the the lines the noise was actually spaced out so what I've noticed is is this is kind of the same thing that I saw with the Emacs bullet and the Eashin, uh the racer star 35 amp MS series the the Emacs bullet had the same thing but what did it also have in common was the one tantalum capacitor so this kind of this does filter out the higher frequencies not by much but it, it's pretty noticeable um, and, and it, it, I believe it does go a long way so overall this is good does it justify the price i don't know that's up to you uh maybe the mosfets in here are a bit expensive which could run the motor a little bit better uh it could be better in in amps and and, and just to power delivery to the motors than dys excess uh this will come back to you um i will be sticking this on my next build with the matek uh f405 fc and pdb together uh the one we just reviewed and we will see how it'll fly and hopefully it'll fly good so 
that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope it helped you guys out there. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.